Hello and welcome to the second Big Classic TV Quiz. We've got 50 questions over 5 rounds and a whopping 60 points on offer. Best of luck! On the menu for you today we're going to start with a picture round, then we're going to take a commercial break, play your sitcoms right, TV cops and we'll finish with the telly test. And picture number one, can you identify this iconic and rather scary TV cook? It is the fearsome Fanny Craddock. You wouldn't tell her her mince pies were overbaked, would you? Number two, this is an empty set from which classic game show? It's from Blankety Blank. Number three, this is a very young comedian. Can you name him? It is the late, great Benny Hill. In which TV series would you expect to see this? It's The Prisoner. Number five, who is this cartoon TV doc? It's Rhubarb. Number six, this is a pencil sketch of which TV and film star? Angela Lansbury. Picture seven, this is a close up from which 1980s television series? It's a close up of Kit from Knight Rider. Who is the owner of this iconic telly tash? It's Mr. Tom Selleck. Number nine, can you name this TV newsreader? Richard Baker. And the final picture. Who is playing Sherlock Holmes here in the 1968 BBC television series? And that was Peter Cushing. Round two, commercial break. I've got ten multiple choice questions for you, all about famous TV ads. Good luck. Question one, the very first commercial to be seen on UK TV was shown on the 22nd of September 1955. What product was being advertised? Mother's Pride Bread, Gibbs SR Toothpaste or Ovaltine? Edwards Gibbs SR Toothpaste. Question two, which brand of cigar is being advertised here? King Edward, Castella or Hamlet? It's the classic ad for Hamlet. What was the name of the character played by Maureen Lipman in a series of adverts for British Telecom? Elsie, BT or Gladys? It was BT. Or which star of Only Fools and Horses appeared in a series of adverts for WH Smith in the late 1990s? Nicholas Lindhurst, David Jason or John Chalice? Nicholas Lindhurst. Question five, which worldwide soft drink brand wanted to teach the world to sing in a 1971 commercial? Pepsi, Coca-Cola 
or Dr Pepper. It was Coca-Cola. Number six, what is the name of Home Pride's bowler hat wearing head flower grader? Douglas, Fred or Sydney? It's Fred. Number seven, which business was Victor Kayam referring to when he said, I liked it so much, I bought the company? Remington, Ronco or KTEL? Remington. Number eight, in 1965, which legendary comedy star encouraged the people of Britain to go to work on an egg? Sid James, Hattie Jakes or Tony Hancock? It was Tony Hancock. Number nine, which all-time Hollywood great spoke the words Carlsberg, probably the best lager in the world. Was it Charlton Heston, Lee Marvin or Orson Welles? It was the one and only Orson Welles. Number 10, what was the name of the little girl with a big voice in the classic adverts for Trio Chocolate Biscuits? Sally, Susie or Sophie? It was Susie. For Play Your Sitcoms Right I've taken inspiration from the late Bruce Forsyth and Play Your Cards Right. Here is how this round is going to work. Ok so we're going to start with the young ones which ran for a total of 12 episodes. Now for each question the second card on the screen will be overturned to reveal another classic British sitcom. All you have to do is decide whether the number of episodes for that sitcom is higher or lower than the previous one. Hope that's clear, best of luck. So we've got the young ones with 12 episodes and our new sitcom is Porridge. Do you think the number of episodes of Porridge was higher or lower than the young ones? It's higher, 21. So those 21 episodes of Porridge now go up against The Good Life. Were the number of episodes of The Good Life higher or lower than the 21 of Porridge? It's higher, Good Life had 30. Number three, The Good Life with its 30 episodes is going up against Bless This House. Bless This House is higher with 65. Bless This House with 65 episodes up against the 80s comedy Heidi High. Was Heidi High higher or lower? Heidi High was lower, it had 58. Next one, Heidi High is going up against 90s sitcom Keeping Up Appearances. Was the number of episodes for Keeping Up Appearances higher or lower than 58? It's lower, 44. Keeping Up Appearances against another 90s sitcom, Men Behaving Badly, higher or lower? It's lower but only just with 42. Men Behaving Badly against 80s sitcom, Never The Twain, higher or lower for Never The Twain in terms of episodes? It's higher with 67. Never the Twain now goes up against Mind Your Language, higher or lower? It's 
It's lower with 42. Mind your language with 42 up against a lower low. And a lower low had 85 episodes. And finally, we have a lower low up against the last of the summer wine. I'm sure most of you got this one, last of the summer wine. I had to leave that one till last because it's unbeatable at 295. If you were playing sitcom top trumps, last of the summer wine is the card you would want to have in your hand. TV Cops is a double points round. There are 10 questions but 20 points available. For each question you will see two pictures. One will be of a famous television cop who you need to identify. And the second picture will be of a location, a city or a town in which that particular television show was set. So even if you can't name the TV cop, you may still be able to get a point for naming the location. Best of luck. Here's number one, name the TV cop and the location. Start off fairly straightforward, it's Kojak, who was a cop in New York. Number two. Number two, the cop was Ironside, who was located in San Francisco. Number three. And that's Sonny Crockett in Miami. Number four. Number four was Jim Bergerac, who was in Jersey. Number five. May Gray, which was set in Paris. Number six. That's Pepper Anderson from Police Woman, which was set in Los Angeles. Number seven was Glynis Barber as Harriet Makepeace in London. Number eight. Spender, which was set in Newcastle upon Tyne. Picture nine. That is the late Mark McManus as Jim Taggart, which was set in Glasgow. And finally, the toughest one of all, number 10. No, it's not Hannibal Smith from the A-Team. That is Banachek, who was a cop in Boston. And finally, we're going to finish with the telly test, which is basically a general knowledge TV round with 10 questions, no multiple choice. Good luck. Number one, George and Mildred was a spin-off from which other popular 1970s sitcom? And about the house. Number two, who was the original host of the game show Family Fortunes? It was the late great Bob Monkhouse. 
Number three, in 1955, Barbara Mandel became the first woman to do what on British television? She was the first woman to read the news on British television. Number four, what kind of animal was Hartley in the children's TV series Pipkins? Hardly was a hare. Number 5. Often regarded as one of the worst TV shows of the 1980s, which BBC drama was set on board a North Sea ferry? It was Triangle. Number 6. First shown in 1973, Family Fair was the first TV series presented by which famous female cook? Delia Smith Number 7, Glenda Jackson and Miranda Richardson have both played which real-life queen on television? Queen Elizabeth I. Number 8, starring Richard Chamberlain, the epic 1980 miniseries Shogun was set in which country? Japan. Number 9, which Dad's Army star had a UK number one hit single in 1971 with the song? Grandad. It was Clive Dunn. And number 10, can you name the character played by Antonio Vargas in the 1970s series Starsky and Hutch? Huggy Bear. Well, there you go folks, that is the classic TV quiz over for another edition. Hope you uh, did well. So let me know what your final score was in the comments. And thanks for playing. Just before you go, um, if you enjoyed the quiz then please do consider giving it a like. And also if you haven't already, why not subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any videos just like the one that is on your screen right now. As always. Thanks for watching.